so we're in a BMW i3 today and I just thought I'd show you guys how to um, isolate the high voltage battery so as you can see it's on at the moment so we'll just turn it off there we go wait for it to go to sleep I'm just gonna flip this here out here's where the bonnet catches So while we're waiting for the car to go into sleep mode, we're just going to take this cover off to T25. You can get special electric tools as well, but you only really need these when you're actually working on the high voltage system itself. This is just a cover, so you can use normal tools on that. And that is held down with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight T25s. And there is our motor and our high voltage system. So it's quite simple to tell the difference between um, high voltage wires and normal wires. These are just normal wires that you would get in pretty much any car. Anything that's high, part of the high voltage system will be this bright orange colour. And that's pretty much the same on all cars. See this little bit here? Uh, this little bit here is part of the safety loop. We'll have that out in a minute to isolate the high voltage system. This is a secondary device, but the main shut off is at the front. So we've opened the hood, we're just waiting for it to go into sleep mode, and then we'll go and isolate it. Well, it's hard to tell through the glare, but once the screens turn off, it's in sleep mode. So we're good to go. So to get to it, we just lift this up, it's just velcroed on and then pulls forward, like that. See these two little tabs go in here and here, so it slides forward, and then the two bits of Velcro clip on there and there. So I'll set that to one side. And then this is the safety interlock. Now with some car manufacturers, you have to wear um, class zero gloves when you do work on the high voltage system or um, remove a component. Uh, all BMW say that you need for this is class zero boots and that's it so that's what we're doing with today so we're just going to need to flick this bit here up and then we can safety interlock so you flick up the safety interlock and then you push it in like that to release the tab at the bottom there and then that allows you to lift up and then once you've got this hole here you put something through the hole so it can't go back down and re-energize this I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes you're best off using a padlock or something and then only you have the key and that way nobody can re-energize it while you're working on it but um, that would stay safely de-energized if you're working on your own there was nobody else around that would be safe but I would always recommend just putting a padlock in it just in case and then you have a secondary little loop back here that you can also remove you just press the tab oops you just depress the tab and then you just lift it on up and that's just another isolation feature to um, lock out the high voltage battery and isolate it. So now we just want to verify that the um, battery is uh, deactivated. So we just go turn the ignition on. There we go. High voltage system deactivated. Lovely. Now we can turn that back off again. Very good. So that is now deactivated, we've verified that. Now it's safe to uh, work on the high voltage system. I'm actually just replacing a bit of the engine loom today, which is not high voltage. But I just thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys how to uh, deactivate the high voltage system on a BMW i3. So now that I've finished my work, I was just replacing uh, a bit of loom in here, engine loom. Put that safety interlock back in. And then with this, there's a little tab here on the side. You flick that out with a flat blade screwdriver, push the black bit down. Once it goes down, you push back in the red locking tab and that's it, re-energized. And if you've done any work on it, obviously you have to read and clear fault codes if necessary.